Let's solve leak code 129 sum root to leaf number. So I like this problem because it's a pretty straightforward problem. You don't really need to know any super crazy tricks or anything to solve it. So let's get right into it. So for each leaf node, there exists a path from the root, right? So for example, this leaf node five, there's a path from the root all the way down to this leaf node, right? And if we take the integers along the path from the root, to the leaf, we'll get four, nine, five. Now this makes an integer. And for each root to leaf path, there exists an integer like this. And we wanna take all of those integers and sum them up and return the total. The other leaf node here is one, and there's also a path from the root to this leaf node. It goes along four, nine, one. So we can take four, nine, one, and add that to our sum. There's one leaf node left, it is the zero all the way on the right. Now this path is a little shorter than the others, just a four and a zero. And we take all of these and we can sum them up. The sum is 10, 26, don't check my math on that. So then we return it. So that's easy enough, right? Now the only, I guess you could say trick is how do we get the integer for each path? Let's look at the first path. So initially we get to a, the first node over here, right? The four. So we'll say our sum so far is four. Next we get to the nine and we wanna add the nine to the right position of the four. So how can we do that? Well, you might've already seen this trick before, but basically we can say initially we got a four, now we got this nine. So we wanna add nine to it, but we'll add a zero to the four above so that when we add these, the nine gets its own position in the sum. And it's pretty obvious when you look at this that we're just gonna take the previous integer and multiply it by 10. This four got multiplied by 10. So now when we get to the five, we're gonna take 49 and add five to it. But of course, before we add five, we're gonna multiply our 49 by 10. So we're gonna add that extra zero to it. So now we can add these two. And of course we get 495 just like we already knew we had. So that's basically what we're, what we're gonna do to compute the number for each leaf node. And if you're familiar with trees, you already know how to traverse them. In this case, a pre-order traversal makes sense the most because we wanna process the parent nodes before we process the children nodes so we can get these integers for each leaf node. Okay, so we are computing a sum, so I can declare a variable for that called result, but we actually don't need to do that in this case. Let's see what we actually need to do. Well, we need to traverse the tree, so I'm gonna make a function to do that. Let's call it depth first search. Now we need to know the, the node that we're at. I'm gonna say current is gonna represent the node. We also need to know the sum up until this point. So I'm gonna call that num in this case. This variable, the num variable is basically for us to compute the path sum. So with any depth first search, of course, if we get to a null node, we're just gonna simply return. We're gonna return zero in that case. Next, we wanna add the current value to our number. But we remember, we also have to multiply the number by 10 before we can add the current value to that. So num times 10, and then we add the current dot value. Now, if this is a leaf node, meaning if it doesn't have a left child or it doesn't have, and it doesn't have, I mean, a right child, then we can simply return the number that we just computed. If it's not a leaf node, that, then that means we need to compute the numbers for the left subtree and the right subtree. So we're gonna do that, depth first search on current.left, passing in the new num that we just computed and we're gonna do the same for the right subtree. Passing in the num that we just computed and we can simply just return the sum of these two values. Now, we, all we need to do is call our depth first search function. Of course, for the node, I'm gonna pass in the root, but what's the initial value we can pass into num? Well, if we pass in zero, it works out with all the edge cases. And so since this function is gonna return the sum that we're looking for, we can simply return. So let's look at this example. We have a node one and we have a left child two. So we're gonna call our depth first search function passing in the root node and the sum is initially zero. So then we're gonna get into our function here. We're gonna see that the, the root is not null. So then we're gonna compute num. Since num is initially zero, we're gonna get zero 
times 10 plus one. This is gonna give us one. Then when we get to the left child of one, our num is gonna be one. So we're gonna take one multiplied by 10, adding the left child two, and then our sum is gonna be 12. So do you see how when we start at one, we'll get a path, we'll get the value one. When we go down to the left child, we'll get the value 12. This is exactly what we want to happen. The time complexity of this is just big O of n because we're traversing the entire tree. The memory complexity is gonna be the height of the tree for the call stack of our recursive function. If this was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.